This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this wavy line effect using a, uh, a certain path effect in Inkscape known as lattice deformation. And if you'd like to learn more about how Inkscape works, be sure to check out the Inkscape Master Class, which is a collection of over 60 videos where I go over every single tool and feature in Inkscape and I explain what it is and demonstrate how it works. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. So we'll go ahead and get started here in Inkscape. Uh, we just want to first set up our document. We'll make sure you go to View. Make sure you have custom selected and then we'll zoom in at one to one. And then I want to open up the align and distribute menu with this button right here. Make sure we have last selected from that drop down. And then I want to open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu with that button right there. And the first thing we're going to create is a single line. So go ahead and grab the Bezier pen, which is over here. You could also press B on the keyboard to grab that tool. I'm going to click to create a point on the canvas and then I'll hold control and bring this line straight across the canvas like that and then click again. And now we can let go of control and press enter on the keyboard to create an individual line like that. And what I'll do now is I'll change the width of this line. If you come over here to the stroke style tab, I'm going to change the width of this to five pixels. Make sure you have pixels set as your unit, uh, unit of measurement. Uh, I'm going to give this a rounded cap. And now I'm going to create some copies of this line. So I'm going to grab the select tool. I'm going to press control D on the keyboard and that's going to create a duplicate of that line. And I'm going to hold control and click and drag down like that, bring this copy down here. And then I'll click and drag over both of those, press Control D again to make a duplicate of those, and then hold Control and click and drag them beneath, the, beneath each other like that. And just go ahead and repeat that process a few more times, clicking and dragging over each of them and pressing Control D. And it's important to make sure that when you're clicking and dragging them down like that, that you hold Control on the keyboard, because if you don't, it kind of like moves it off of its axis. Holding control locks it onto the vertical axis like that, which is what we want. And once you've reached a point like this right here where you have approximately an equal parts width and height, what you can do is click and drag over all of them. And now we're going to make sure that they're all spaced out evenly by coming over to the uh, distribute panel and clicking on the button over here that says make vertical gaps between objects equal. And now we will combine them all together by going to path, combine, and now we will open up the uh, path effects menu. So we'll go to path, path effects. And I want to press this little plus icon right here to add a new path effect. And the path effect we are going to choose is lattice deformation or lattice deformation two. So go ahead and find that. Go ahead and click add. And once you've added that, you can go to um, the edit paths by nodes tool and you'll have this little grid that appears on top of your graphic. And you can take the individual points these individual nodes and move them around like that to warp the design that it's applied to. As you see that I'm doing here, I'm taking this, these nodes and moving them and warping the lines uh, as I move the nodes around, as you can see here. So just go ahead and play around with it a little bit. Get a design that you like, that you think looks good. I'm going to move this node down here like that. Move this one down here like that. Maybe move that one down. Uh, maybe move this one up maybe up a little more. I'll just go with something like that. Once you reach a place where you're happy with how the design looks, you can finalize it by first grabbing the select tool and then you can go to path, object to path. And that, that is no longer a path effect. That is now finalized as an actual path. And if you go to the edit paths by nodes tool, you will see the option to, do, to uh, deform that further is gone. So uh, make sure that you are happy with how it looks before you do that. And then what you could also do is you can convert these strokes into paths by going to path, stroke to path, and now you can color them in individually however you'd like. And if you want, you can close out of the path effects menu as well because we are done with that. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about creating these wavy lines, and that's pretty much in a crash course on how uh, the lattice deformation extension works in Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.